Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy back in the building. I'm over here with 80s Baby Gamer. We're about to get his channel started soon, so yeah. be on the lookout for that. But we're in this line for the PS5, so I'm going to show that to you right now. Um, I can't. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So um, it's not the best day outside, real muggy, but, hey, we still, uh, still going to get it. Three hours later. So update. Um, it's like they only allowing like one person in the store at a time, and uh, this line ain't really moving. It's about like ten thirty right now. We ca we came here right at ten when they opened, but um, yeah, so it's moving a little bit. So we'll we'll eventually get there. It's like they probably upselling everybody on everything. Like, hey, do you want the protection plan? Do you want this? Do you want that? Sign on the line. Sign your life off. But uh, we're going to get there. Three hours later. seen the vlog up to this point the little journey that we had just to get the ps5 so i'm here my boy 80s baby gamers in the background so he may chime in every now and then but i'm about to do this unboxing <laughs> and i've been waiting so long to unbox this thing y'all don't have no idea how long youtubers like sit on the equipment before they can like actually touch it and whatnot but this was not sent to me i bought it but when I say sitting on equipment, I'm just talking about just the process of setting up your whole studio just to be able to shoot. And I'm ready to do this now. I know y'all ready, so let's get into it. So, um, go ahead and take my unboxing knife out. And obviously this box is massive. Like, I'm not sure if the camera can do it any justice. I know you've seen it on a few unboxing videos from your other YouTubers, but man, <laughs> like the only way you're getting this thing out is by like tilting it on the side and pulling it because you ain't just going straight up oh, good all right cool <laughs> all right so here we go round two <laughs> i got the box of the box off That black PS logo, yeah, that black PS logo. Um, wow. So, if you can see, hopefully I'm not gonna need this unboxing knife, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Put this to the side of it somewhere where it won't be dangerous. So, there is another box inside this box. <laughs> that was inside a box. <laughs> and so, so in this, you got your PS5 manual, you got your PS5 DualSense controller in the wrap. I already did the video on the first one beforehand, so I, that's my second one. So you get a power cord and you get, you know, like I said, manuals. And I'm um, assuming you're gonna get a USB-C cord in there. I just wanna get these manuals out the way. Yep, the rest is just cords. So, pretty much got your, um, and I believe this was a HDMI 2.0 cord, by the way. Um, I think that's what they said. So, <laughs> that's literally what they said. And then you get your, your stand. So, I'm gonna keep this stand because we're gonna need to set up that on the stand anyway. So, we're gonna take the power cord out. And let's get to the grand finale here. See this, if I get a drum roll coming. Drum roll, please! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we gotta turn this thing sideways. It seems like every time I, I gotta take something out, I gotta take it out sideways in this box. Jeez. So, uh, put this box down. It is tall. Um, 
I was kind of imagining it being taller because of the height, you know what I'm saying? But it still is pretty tall. It is tall. It is tall. Whew, man. Okay. And it is heavy. Man, but here, here she is in all her glory. And boy, she thick too. <laughs> 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 so let's take out this scale just to see what this thing actually weighs. John, it is massive, man. It is massive. All right, so like they said, 9.8, 9.8 pounds. Jeez. See if I can get a picture of that real quick. Hey, yep, yeah, she's she's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> So, man, though, man, that is, that's, that's interesting. So that's kind of the unboxing. Like, what, what are your, what are your thoughts on this so far? Like, just looking at it, bro. Man, it is huge. It actually, looking at the videos really doesn't know justice to see it to scale. Man, it looks about the size of that RK1 machine behind you. <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, I mean, it's clean looking though. I like it. I like the design. I always thought the design was sexy, but a lot of people tend to disagree with me. I like it. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something that's different. It's unique. Yeah. Like the matte finish on it, like it, it definitely has like a good grip, oh, yeah. you know? So it's not like it's going to slip out your hand when you grab it. Right. But it does feel like them, those college tech, textbooks. Who <laughs> 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 went back in the days of A&T, like you go to the... the yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, it's like a college textbook. This, that's how thick it is, but it's definitely got some weight to it. That's good. Uh, the plastic to me feels, it does feel like a premium kind of plastic. Yeah. So let's go over this tour real quick of the, you know, IO ports and whatnot. So uh, looking at it here at the bottom, and I'll have some B-roll actually showing this in detail, but you got the power button at the bottom. You got the um, eject button right above it. USB-C, you got a USB-A, I believe it's 3.1 or 3.2. Um, then on the back, we actually have the power cord, which oddly enough, doesn't seem to have changed. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of use the same Sony PlayStation stuff. Right. Then you got the HDMI port, uh, gigabit ethernet, and then you got two USB 3.0 ports on the back. So, um, but what people are really concerned about is, you know, the white color and they don't really like the white because they feel like it's going to get dirty. Like people in line were talking about the, their Xbox 360 like yellow, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how the Nintendo probably was this, this original color of this box when it first came out and then it started looking beige. Yes, <laughs> sort of thing. Yes, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, you know what? So this, this is kind of a quick unboxing. But uh, I'm going to have some gameplay, because I'm, I'm actually going to play a little bit of uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and I got Sackboy. But I got, like I said, I got 2K coming in tomorrow. But I'm just going to have a little bit of gameplay of that in Astro's Challenge. Astro, what's it called? Astrobot. Astrobot, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Astrobot, Astrobot. that comes with it. That's going to be, we're going to do a little, bit, a little bit of clips of gameplay, so stick around for that. But uh, ultimately... I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? But real full disclosure, you know, for those of y'all out there, definitely be safe because this ain't really worth breaking your neck over right. because I know there's a lot of hype right now about this thing. And for me personally, the only reason I really went to cop it is because I didn't necessarily have to go out on my way. <laughs> you know, it just kind of, so, so the opportunity, so to speak, fell on my lap. So I just, you know, what happened to call GameStop the day of, they were just like, hey, we got it. I just came and got it. <laughs> but these people that, lose, that are losing stress over it overnight, you know, trying to stay up at the odd hours of the night and click battle with everybody online. <laughs> I'm not about that life. So, you know what I'm saying? So my recommendation is just wait till that thing comes in the stores. It ain't worth fighting people over. So anyways, with that, stay tuned. There's some clips on the back end of this video. And check out this footage so originally I was actually just gonna go ahead and show some footage of uh, gameplay I still will but I'm actually gonna go ahead and kind of talk about some things that 
I want I want to say that some things I noticed uh, about this console. So, kind of want to address what this console is versus what it isn't. I mean, obviously you got this <laughs> beast of a console right here. Um, the first thing I just kind of want to address is, you know, the the biggest elephant in the room is that yeah, she thick, but she run good. So. <laughs> With that, you know, that size, you do get a whole lot of uh, cooling power in there, if that makes any sense. So you got a huge heat sink, um, liquid cooling, and, you know, all the tech, you can, you can look all that up for yourself. But while I'm playing, because I was playing this for maybe about an hour and a half total today. So I uh, got some time to play, and I noticed during that whole time, I never had to think about how much noise this thing was making it was completely quiet the whole freaking time so yeah i mean yeah it's big but it just it runs good so um next thing i kind of want to address here is is the ui um that ui is definitely a huge overhaul from the ps4 i'm gonna say not everything is 100 percent like great with it um it seems like very very focused around those cards so uh, as you are, you know, trying to navigate through the menu, it's like every time you hit the PlayStation button, those cards are the first thing to pop up first. And me, myself, maybe because I haven't adapted to it, maybe over time I will, but it just seems like I spend more time looking away from the cards and trying to find something else. It's because most of the time when I hit that PlayStation button, I'm trying to go to like settings or something else, and maybe it's because that's where I'm trained from PS4. But with these cards and this new user interface, it's it's a little bit different. It's taking me a little bit of time to adapt. Uh, I haven't actually used those cards for anything beneficial right now, but that's kind of where we're at with that. So I'm still honestly trying to like understand like where everything is. Uh, even took a little while to find out the uh, HDCP where to turn that off so that I can actually record content from it, uh, even though my gaming capture device only records in 1080p 60 frames per second um, for right now we, eventually I'm gonna get to 4k eventually I don't because I don't even shoot in 4k right now so eventually when I upgrade everything to 4k um, I'll be ready for that but for right now I'm still 1080p 60 frames per second so the footage that you're gonna see as I'm talking about it will be in that resolution so uh, let me also talk about Miles uh, Miles Morales that spider-man game so uh, I spent some time playing that. I spent probably the most time playing that right now. Out of that hour and a half, I spent like close to an hour playing that. And um, honestly, the game, it does feel very similar, but different to the original Spider-Man on PS4. Um, like the controls, the whole like battle system is literally the same. Like you still have, to press, you can press triangle to do a web yank and yank guns out of people's hands and then disarm them and whatnot. So. Um, you do have that new focus meter, which is kind of tight, so you can do those, um, I don't know what they call them now, uh, venom moves, <laughs> whatever, venom meter, and so you have special moves that come with that, so they do have some added features, but as far as the graphics on that game, that they are jaw-dropping, like, um, <laughs> reflections, because I have just been playing it with just, um, fidelity mode. I haven't tried playing on performance mode, but uh, the ray tracing looks really good. You can definitely see it's a, it's a standout thing that you don't see on the PS4. So I'm looking forward to seeing more games do that. But just playing as Miles, his character, uh, I'm getting into the story. You know, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm still, being a, you know, a, a fan of Miles, uh, at least of the source material, I know the story is not exactly a hundred <laughs> but you know I'm enjoying the story for what it is but um, but yeah Miles that's that's definitely a good reason to pick up the PS5 uh, if not the PS4 if you don't have a PS4 but um, but yeah Miles Morales is is, is, a, is so far looking to be a great game even though I heard it's short but I heard it's a quality short game and I don't have a problem with that so also Astro's Playground Astro's Playground, that will definitely give you the full perspective of this controller right here. So uh, Astro's Playground will literally 
encapsulate you in the game. Like it's and it's just a it's just a fun, challenging platformer setup. You know, so I think you have like four different worlds or something like that, and you have like areas within that world that you have to complete. And with that, you know, it's it's there's some challenges there, and it, it really gives you a tour of everything this dual sense controller is capable of um like as far as everything like from textures like you're walking through mud or whatever you really feel the challenge of walking through mud. you really like feel like you're really pushing it so um everything like i mean i literally feel uh raindrops like they have certain scenes where it's raining and you feel it in the controller the controller has a speaker too so it kind of Sorry, it kind of, um, I don't know, it, it, it works together with, with what's going on. Like, you really feel immersed. And I really can't explain Astro's Playground. You just have to experience it. Um, but, yeah, also, so we talked about the UI. We talked about uh, Miles. We talked about Astro. And I don't, I guess Astro kind of ties into this controller because I wanted to talk... A little bit more about it but the best way I can say this dual sense controller feels is it's it's like I don't know if you've ever been if I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to a D box movie I haven't but I've tried the little demo thing before before COVID hit I, I tried a little demo thing at the door and I was like this seems kind of interesting so they had a little, a little sample of the movie and as the movie's playing action scenes like you feel like vibration and whatever so this is not just like your typical you know, PS4 uh, vibration or whatnot. Like this is this actually feels like a D box seat in your hands, and uh, it's a completely different dynamic of anything you've probably ever experienced before. So it's not just like the dumb feedback. You have levels to this thing as far as how it feels, like how you actually experience the game, um, and also these these triggers. Because I, I was at first just thinking that the triggers were um, were just the selling point of the controller or whatever. Even though I haven't gone through like actually using the um, adaptive triggers for Astro's Playground yet, or even Miles Morales, but um, I, they did have like a little quick demo in, in Astro's Playground where you, you actually press it down and it, you feel the resistance. So I, I think it's a very unique feature. Like Sony definitely did their homework with the controller to really enhance the player experience with the PS5. So ultimately, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with this PS5 so far. I can't really tell you what the battery life is like. Um, you know, like I said, I've maybe played an hour and a half, and you had like four bars, and my my battery bar just went down one notch. So. Uh, I guess after, you know, playing for a while, maybe follow me on social media. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot <laughs> talking with this. Uh, but I may, you know, give a, a follow-up to, like, this DualSense controller and talk about that there. But overall, I will be streaming some content tomorrow. Uh, follow me on my, my Twitch channel. I haven't really done a whole lot there either. But I will be streaming there. My, my Twitch channel is Rakama Tech Gaming. I will have that here. <laughs> uh, I will have that there. So go ahead and check that out. And um, with that, uh, I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much going to wrap up this whole PS5 thing. I'm about to go ahead and start editing this video. So if this is your first time checking out the channel, definitely stick around for more. And we'll have more fun. Peace.